Hello and welcome to another Age of Empires video. Today I will show you a replay recently uh, where I've played Out of the Dragon, who would have guessed. And it's against, yeah, it's the, like normal standard FFA. And it's a bit uh, a non typical game I had because you will yeah. see that two people obviously tr teamed together and yeah. I will show you how this have turned out, has turned out in English. So we have yellow, the Rose player. We have pink, a uh, deli player. We have for the win cookie, who I have played uh, many times already. He's the HRE player. We have uh, Goggles, who is Chinese. Red, who is Sushi. And also Ottoman who is yeah green. I will speed up a bit because you will see that uh, people went to the left side like all the corners except here. They went a bit more for the middle. And interestingly enough uh, the first three minutes have happened and no one died. <laughs> Because, like, almost every FFA I play, someone dies in the first minutes and the second player just leaves through. I don't know why. <laughs> it's, it's just a normal thing that happens. So, the basic thing with Out of the Dragon is like, you go fast castle, try to steal every relic, and then fast imperial. <laughs> if no one stops you, why shouldn't you do it? Uh, this guy is obviously using his king for more scouting, which is... Uh, okay, it's the Dark Age. The only risk you take is to... well, you can die to, this, to a TC if you're not fast enough. Mm -hmm. So, there's some resources. These guys are next to each other. These guys have a sandwich with Teal. And this is the other out of the dragon player. It seems like he wants to go early aggression against this other guy. I don't know how the went game went out for the other guys, only know my perspective. So I knew I think what did I see? I didn't see shit. <laughs> Oh, the first guy surrendered. Mm. Yeah, there was no, there was literally no reason for him to resent, surrender. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why he surrendered. Sometimes it happens that people just go. And now we have castle. And the time for going for relics. I tried to scout here, because I knew, okay. Red is here. Red aged up, so I need to get uh, get the relic first. Pink killed this one king in the meantime. Pink killed, which I didn't see. And the thing is, I walked immediately to the auto relic to get his relic um, because I know the Shaolin monks they fight. Here, Red also saw that I was uh, getting my relics. Those guys are just building up now. He's also going in Regent's Cathedral. Uh, he also got a relic. They are all going for the middle. He's going raiding with, uh, with Gazi raiders. I got the relic. I was faster than him. And now he stays at the point and looks into nothing. So. Uh, we're gonna speed up a bit by killing each other. He, he was using his scout, died. Yeah, it's just like that. No one is going full aggressive than Pink, which is interesting. Only one sacred side, so Pink was trying to get it. And I have obviously two relics, and I immediately went for Imperial because I knew no one is going to attack me. And oh, I have three relics now. 
I tried to scout with my one pilot if I can see anything else because I didn't see anything. At which point did I? S I don't know when I put my king out to watch where the other ones are. Maybe it will happen now. So I went Imperial Age. And yeah. He's going a second town and uh, Ottoman is doing army. Oh, game paused. <laughs> to press in. He is going army, so he wants to snipe someone. Oh, they are both fighting. Which is good. I think at one time I pulled a monk there. Yeah, I have pulled three monks with which I have collected relics outside of the map just to scout if I can sni sni uh, sneak any relics. Now I have used the king ability, so I saw okay, red and green need to fight. These guys will fight. And these guys will fight. So I knew I can boom the shit out of this. Which was a very lucky position. And soon green and red should fight. Because they are jet next to each other. He's going Imperial Age. So what will the will they do? These guys obviously will try to kill each other. Uh already he is uh, attacking orange. I snuck one monk here, which <laughs> was nice, but yeah, I didn't find the relic. He's getting raided by Garzi Raiders, which is a great job he's doing. So I was also building towers here to see, okay, what is happening on the map, trying to go to the middle because I knew that my side is not shit. I pulled one monk here. And no, okay. Green has some spearmen, which is not a good army. Red is booming. Yes, 32 Gazi raiders. And raiding him really hard and harshly. So they're killing each other fast. And obviously, doubles? Oh no. Orange surrendered first. And he got the kill. So teal is all on plus 50 pop and pink is also on plus 50 pop. And you see pink already killing one guy. He's going to kill the next one, I guess. Looks like that. He could have destroyed it. But yeah, he surrendered immediately. Now he can kill his king. So these guys are uh, are next to each other and look what is happening. So if you see this, we look at him. What is he seeing in this map? He's walking through his base, obviously trying to find something really important like uh, why, why should I kill the town center? Huh? And uh, what, what, what? he's not bothering of his eco. Like, oh my god, they're playing playing on Zoom. Okay. So I was like, we are gonna see what I saw. I was like, okay, I'm booming the shit out, which is great. I know these people are fighting, and pink and um, pink and teal need to fight because they are on one side. They will not come to me. And I saw this and I thought like, huh? What the fuck? So I see they are both producing army and green came to my side. That was the moment when I wrote in chat, okay, get the fuck out, uh, green and red are teaming. And one guy responded and it was... Teal. Teal wrote, okay, what are we gonna do about them? I obviously killed his whole army. And I thought like, what what the fuck is this? <laughs> like they're next to each other and not fighting. 
but he moved through his base to mine base, and I thought like, I, I fucking kidding me. <laughs> this is not how you play FSA. And if you look on the stats in a four walls, they are friends who played already plus 150 matches. I mean, you can play with your friends in FFA, but you don't team like this. This is like... Yeah. And that was the moment when I start punishing them. Like, they don't have attacked me for a long time. Teal is getting a bigger army, and I think he will fight against Pink. I don't know what will happen. Pink has two kills, yes. You watch a Pink. Pink has. Uh, pink can ha pink has plus 100 on the population. Resource wise, he's also good. I'm okay. -ish. And yeah, I'm obviously taking down this place now. He didn't get one relic with his warrior monks. And was sitting in his town center. I don't know why he was sitting there, but then I killed his friend. Teal, which I saw because I had towers here. Uh, Teal was coming to the side. And also Pink was coming at the side, which I didn't see. I think Pink has seen him and decided to attack Teal to snipe his king. And so yeah, obviously I killed Green's army, which was like not hard. This only spearmen, which are a bit dangerous for elite golden knights, but you know, this is not a fighting army, not at all. I was just try trying to focus this town center, and you obviously s might have seen this. Coming. I was killing the TC and then I was killing myself. At these minutes, Red was already typing in chat like, yeah, uh, like I was addressing why the fuck do you cheat? T was going back because Pink was attacking him. Uh, Red was writing, what? yeah, but I've played this guy many times uh, addressing me and saying, yeah, he's always he's cheating, uh, and I was like, what the fuck? We were teaming, getting called, and uh, getting called out, and then we write in chat that I am cheating, not even saying which, with which, or what I was cheating. Yeah, obviously I'm not cheating. That's like I don't understand people like that. Teaming and then. Being a child in, in chat. Yeah. He was good fighting against Pink. And yeah, I had big resource amounts. Pink had also big resources. And yeah, I have plus 100 pop, Pink has plus 100 pop, but only one TC. Yeah, only one TC and I don't think he has any castles. Ah, he has House of Learning built, okay. Um, yeah. They were fighting against each other. I was trying to poke for their kings. And wanted to snipe pink. Which I didn't know. Teal had the same idea. I thought like, okay, they're fighting here, so I just go here. <laughs> And then I found uh, found him here. He didn't go for the king, and that was a serious mistake. It was a very very odd thing. And look, okay, he got the king. I thought I, I would have gotten the king. Close one, close <laughs> Sometimes. Also, the guild of Lansknecht is shredding through these, I have siege and everything from him. It's not a real fight where you can lose much, but he did well. Now we both have a plus 100 pop, but 
I am almost full upgrade in Imperial Age. Everything is through. Last upgrades. Last. Uh, a bit more, but. Yeah. I was just going for his base. He was trying to save some things, but. Yeah, it's uh, really, really hard to do so. For the Wind Cookie is, by the way, also a German guy who wrote in chat after that. And he's really nice. I think. <laughs> she was a uh, relic in the outpost, which I didn't see. How much resources did he have? Nah, uh, he's lacking much. I mean, I have 200 pop, and he has 95. He was at a cold one, which I did see only a few seconds after that. I guess it, but... Another kill room. This one I didn't see... Very good. Then I sent my Guild of Knights in. Four Guild of Knights for one kill room. That's a good price to take. Don't do. <laughs> but if you don't lack resources, you can afford to do this. I was switching from Elsbach Palace to the CC, so he can't use his emergency repair anymore. And yeah, this moment... I mean, it's already over, but... Yeah, he, was, he was trying. Which is nice. Oh, I was attacking Elspoth instead of Keith, but yeah, Elspoth is a heavy uh, defensive building. He pulled his king out and yeah, this was it. Uh, so I will also show you the statistics in a few seconds. Yep, timeline and the statistics. Total score, military, obviously some kills. And which I like much, that they didn't achieve to get much kills. Resource-wise, I had already very much. I didn't mind the whole middle, half middle. 30 minutes for Imperial Age. This is not that fast to go age 3 but uh, it's okay. Um, yeah, free relics. He also had free relics. And yeah. That was a quick FFA remind, uh, replay, and I hope you had fun, and see you next time, bye!